20 million years ago, there was a huge volcanic eruption in the part that today is the Lesbos Island. Lots of lava started to flow, ash that covered the subtropical forest that existed at the time, started the fossilization process. And by that we know that we have an ancestor of today's black pine that was living here at the time, Pinoxylum paradoxum. I was born in Lesbos. I was raised on this island. When I first went up in the mountains, there were two big black pine populations. One of these populations is almost gone. We may lose them. The second population, which is still in very, very good condition, has to be preserved. It's the speed of environmental change that scares me. With the climate change, you have fires occurring in the mountains where black pine forests grow. And a very hard time for this species to adapt against its competitor, another pine species that grows in lower elevation and is coming up. Black pine doesn't have enough time to adapt in this kind of situation. And losing them is not only losing a few trees, is losing all this genetic heritage going on for all these millions of years, not only on Lesbos or in Greece, but all over Europe and the greater Mediterranean area. The local forest service, they're engaged in, in forest protection activities, fire prevention activities, removal of ground vegetation. Under very, very limited means, they do whatever they can to facilitate the survival of black pine forest on this island. The broader the genetic base, the larger the chances of a species being adapted to some sort of steady state. It's important to remember that this is the birthplace of Theophrastus, the birthplace of botany. Aristotle came here as well, and together they studied the fauna and the flora of this island. So it's very important that we continue this legacy and we try to study in depth these species and maintain their populations for future generations. Thank you.